Hello everybody! In the previous lectures, we generally analyzed digital control systems from the classical point of view, such as root or close to domain analysis, like uh, step response, that's traceable, and this kind of analysis. Now, uh, we will analyze the discrete time systems and digital control systems from the perspective of state space representation. Okay, so let's remember state representation in time domain. Okay, in time domain, a continuous time domain, we have a state, which is, we say, x of t, which is an element of Rn. Okay? Uh, we have output y of t as usual, which is an element of R m. Okay, so if m is equal to one, it is single output. If m is larger than one, it is multiple output. Okay, so we have input where u of t is an element of R r. Okay, and similarly, if r is equal to one, it's a single input. If r is larger than one, it is a single output system. Okay. Uh, and for a CISO system, uh, both R and M should be equal to 1. Okay, then what we do is we write the state equation, x dot of t is equal to a times x of t plus b times u of t. This is the state evolution equation. This is the main critical equation for us. And we have y of t, which is the output equation, which is an algebraic equation, x of t plus d times u of t. Okay, so this is a differential equation. And this is an algebraic equation. Okay, and they are both linear because it's a linear time invariant system. Okay, but in discrete time domain, we have a very similar approach. Okay, we have x of k state, okay, which is an element of again Rn. We have y of k, it's similar, and we have u of k. Everything is same. Okay, so and a uh, state evolution equation is even easier. We simply map the states and input at k state. To the maps and states, not technically, uh, output uh, at the k plus 1 state. Okay, so our equation looks like this. x k plus 1, okay, is equal to g times x of k plus h times u of k, where g and h are similar matrices with a and b, okay? And we know that a element of r n by n, similarly g is an element of y r n by n, they are square matrices. And output equation, we technically have the same form, c x of k plus d u of k. As you can see, I use the same terminology here, but I use different terminology for g and h. And I, I will talk about uh, this later when we discretize the uh, continuous time system and to obtain state space uh, discrete representations. Okay, so uh, the most important matrix is obviously A and G because they are the like system matrices and their eigenvalues will determine the stability and other uh, core behavior of the system. Of course, C and B is also very critical for many perspectives. Okay, so, okay, so do we have, so what's the state? Okay, so let's remember from continuous time systems. State property of a continuous time state space model is this. Given the initial time, t0, okay, we have an initial time, and initial states, okay, so initial conditions, and input u of t, t for uh, t is an element of t naught to t final. So we start at a point, and we have a t final. It's kind of arbitrary. It can be anything, okay? If you can compute the output y of t only using this information, then x of t is a state of the system, okay? So this is the state definition, okay? So given x of t naught, u of t, and t0, if you cannot compute the output, if it's not enough, then it is not a state, or your uh, state information is not enough for you. So you should technically add more uh, to your like uh, state space representation or taking equation, okay? For discrete time systems, it's easier, okay? So given state vector x of k, okay, so our starting condition is an arbitrary time k, and input u of k, okay, so you know the input, and at an arbitrary time k, if you can compute the future output, uh, no, present output, current output, also the future output, and the next state xk plus 1, then x of k is a uh, valid state for your system. Okay, of course, it's obvious that if you can compute xk plus 1, you can compute y of k plus 1, x of k plus 2, and so on and so on. It's kind of take proof by induction. Okay, so this is the definition of a state for continuous and discrete time system. They're very similar uh, with each other, and they're directly related with the memory 
and uh, like the order of the system. Okay, so what is a minimal state space representation or when a state space representation minimum? I think it's very easy. So do I have that? No, I don't tell you that. So a state representation becomes minimal, okay, uh, if the uh, state space representation includes minimum number of state variables to satisfy this definition. Okay, so if you can satisfy this definition with two states and also three states, then this is not minimal, but this is minimal. Okay, so if your x of k are n, where n is technically the minimum of all possible of uh, integer values, which can validate this definition, then it is a minimal representation. Okay, so uh, if your state space representation doesn't satisfy this definition, then it's not a valid state space representation for your system. Okay, but if your n is, for example, 10, but your minimum representation is 3, it is valid, but it's not minimal. Okay, good. So let's talk about canonical state space representation of single input, single output, discrete time systems. Uh, we, uh, technically, this is a similar thing with the block time representation, and we will technically use the same techniques. Okay, so so if you remember, uh, previously, uh, we start from a transfer function comp set and then uh, realize the system in a block diagram form. Okay, so technically, block diagram representation is closely related with state space representation. If your block diagram only consists of some constants, gains, difference operations, and delay elements, because delay element is the fundamental block in a discrete time system. It's also true for block diagram and state space representation. Okay, so we know that this is called control canonical represent the digitalization of a discrete time system. Okay, so what we do is, we technically take the picture of this, for example, this is an arbitrary three-dimensional system, and what we do is, we label states as x1, x2, and x3. Okay, so where are these states? These states are the outputs of the each delay element. We have three delay elements, and we have three states. And this is a three-dimensional system, so the minimum representation for this system is of course, three-dimensional. Okay, good. So uh, we will technically use this form to derive the state space representation. Okay, let's start with x of one. Okay, so uh, x of one, okay, z is equal to z to the minus one, x of two, z, right? Okay, so it's kind of very easy. So we know that if we uh, technically uh, transform this, x of 1, k plus, no, let's make it like this, x of 1, k minus 1 is equal to x of 2, no, no, okay, sorry for that, okay, this is easier, x of 1, k is equal to x of 2, k minus 1, okay, I can also write this in this form, x of 1, k plus 1 is equal to x2 of k, because k is arbitrary here. Okay, as you can see, it's very easy. Okay, so let's do it the same thing for the x of 2. Okay, x of 2, z is equal to x of 3, z times z to the power minus 1. That's good. So if we write the same thing, x2 of k is equal to, or let's write this like this, using the same form, x of so for that, x2, k plus 1 is equal to x3, k. So I have two equations. As you can see, they are very arbitrary and simple equation. Okay, let's move on to the third equation, which is here. Okay, uh, x3 of z. Okay, so let's clean that. Okay, that's good. z equal to, so this is 3. Uh, that's good. Z to the power of minus. Okay, so we, we have here. Okay, that's good. So what's the we have here? So let's try to understand that. Okay, uh, we have good. Okay, it's good. So what is here? Uh, we have Z to the power of minus one. That's good. So we have U, U of C, which is coming from here. And as you can see, we have feedback from each of the states, x1, x2, and x3. Okay, so very simple. So what we do is plus a3 
x1 of z, okay, but it's not plus because we have negative sigma here. Okay, that's good. So let's write it like this. Plus, okay, no, not plus, it should be minus. Okay, that's good. A2, x2 of z, minus a1, x3 of z, okay, is equal to nothing else. Okay, so let's uh, transform this to the same form. I can move z to power minus 1 here. So x3, k plus 1 is equal to u of k minus a3, x1 of k minus a2, x2 of k minus a3, no, a1, a1, x3 of k. Okay, that's good. So, and uh, you should also note the fact that you can change the labels of x1 and x3. It doesn't matter. It will be still in control kind of form, no matter uh, what you do. But the form is critical. Okay, so we have three equations. So let's remember the previous two equations also. It's very simple. x1 is x2, x3 is x3. Okay, let's write it here. Okay, so x1, k plus 1 is equal to x2 of k and x2 k plus 1, we have 1 here, is equal to x2 of k. So what we should do is we should first write the uh, state evolution equation, which is more important. So what are our states? Our states are very simple. Okay, so let's clean that. So our states are composed of x1, x2, x3. Okay, so this is x1 of, no, x, let's clean that. Okay, so our combined state space is equal to x of k is equal to x1, k, x2, k, and x3, k. Okay, that's good. So x, k plus 1 is equal to, okay, we have an x. Uh, let's look at the first equation. x1 depends on, so x1, k plus 1 depends on x2, k. So it is equal to 0, 1. 0. So x2, k plus 1, depends on x3, k, so it's equal to 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this is critical. So I will show you that. So this is 0, this is the control kind of form, and this is an identity matrix. And it will be more meaningful when we generalize this for uh, n-dimensional systems. Okay, so let's write the final equation. So u of k uh, belongs to the input equation. So let's write that, okay? So there is no input here, no input here. Okay, that's good. So this is this is x, okay, so for that, this is x of k, it's plus, this is u of k. Okay, that's good. So let's write that. Uh, the coefficient of uh, in front of x1 is equal to minus a3, minus a2, minus a1, 0, 0, and finally, we have what we have 1. Okay, so this is A, no, this is G for A, and this is H, and this is the form. Okay, for an n third order system, okay, this you will get the same structure 0, 0, 1. It's always the case for the input matrix. Uh, for the state matrix, you will have the first column as zeros and an identity column, okay? So if you change the order of the states, it will be slightly different, but it will still uh, satisfy the control kind of form representations. And in the bottom, you will have A3, A2, and A1 in the this order, okay? Again, if you change the order of the states, they will flip, and of course, but it will still satisfy the control kind of form representation equations. Okay, that's good. So let's also, uh, let's keep it like this. Let's clean it, and we will finalize that. So what we left? So we have the state evolution equation, and finally we need to come up with an output equation. Okay, let's clean everything here and uh, compute the output equation. Okay, what is the output? Output is the measurement, and it's y of k. Okay, so what is y of k? So let's clean that. y of k is equal to this signal plus these signals. Okay, so, so these signals are, let's look at that. So x1, b3, okay, good. But we have also x1, a3 minus coming from the feedback terminal, okay? So if we are careful with that, you will see that, 
okay, so we have also B0. So B0 U of K, okay, that's fixed, okay, plus. Okay, so let's look at X1. What we have X1, we have B3, B3 here. Here we have A3 minus B0, so it's minus B0 A3 X1 of K. That's good, okay. Uh, I think that's great. So plus, so let's look at X2, B2 minus B0, B2 minus B0, A2, because we have A2 here, times X2 of K, so plus B3 minus B0, not B3, B1, okay, so we'll check the pattern, B1 times A1, X3 of K, so if you write in the output equation form, we will see that the C matrix, or let's say YK, is equal to C matrix is this, okay? So B3 minus B0, A3, B2 minus B0, A2, and this is equal to B1 minus B0, A1 times X of K plus, of course, what is the D matrix? D matrix depends on this, B0 times U of K. Okay, so this is the output equation. This is the uh, state evolution equation. If we write everything, this is the control canonical for representation, one of the control canonical representation uh, for a uh, third order arbitrary discrete time system. Okay, so as I told you, the important parts are this. So uh, the first column is composed of zero column, okay? Uh, we have two by two, which is like M minus one uh, identity matrix next to that. And the, in the bottom row, we always have the coefficients, and of course the minus of the coefficients from minus A3, minus A2, minus A1, as you can see, and the B matrix is always equal to 0, 0, 1. Okay, and uh, your C matrix, which is more complicated as you can see, is composed of both Bs and As. But if B0, which is the technically uh, D term here, is 0, it will be much simpler. It will only be composed of the uh, coefficients of B. Okay, so if we generalize for in higher order systems, we will see that, so we have the same structure, it's only n dimensional. Okay, for an n dimensional transfer function, uh, the realization of the canonical control form is like this. Okay, so you have an n minus one dimensional zero column. Okay, here, this is an n minus one dimensional identity matrix. And in the bottom row, you just place the coefficients from minus n, to minus a1. B matrix is simply 0, 0, 0, and 1. And C matrix is, is the same structure. And D matrix is always equal to E0. Okay, so this is a uh, reachable or controllable kind of form representation for a discrete time system. I like reachable city term uh, more because specifically for uh, its meaning in discrete time systems. And I will talk about it in the uh, later lectures. Okay, so. Uh, if you look at the different textbooks, you will see that there are different variations of control column forms. And this is only because in this program representation, if you change the labels from x1 and to x3, like for example, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, you will get a slightly different representation. 